welcome to its topic so in this video i am going to discuss the indirect questions again i have already given so in some videos javascript indirect questions but uh, i think i have not discussed or explained the questions there so i am going to explain it here in short because if i am going to explain it in details it will take at least one hour time to explain two chapters so i will go in short only and i have already this, uh, explained these two questions in asmis in my another channel that is uh, guhati live you can go to there and subscribe to that channel too so let's come to the first question here it's asked write a javascript code to input your name residential address telephone number and display them in separate line means we have to uh, take two variables i have already did the question so let's i'll show you I am not going to write the questions again here. So this one I have already done. I have taken two variable or uh, three variable name, r address and phone, and I have used prompt statement three times. First time for name, second time for address, third time for phone, and I have used again document dot write line also three times. First time document dot write name. It is in quotation. It is a string. after that plus name again plus this name uh, which is uh, without quotation that one is a variable means it will change in the program and after that we are to go to the next line because in question it asked us to display in separate line and same way for address also and for phone we are writing uh, we are not writing the br because this is the last line so when we run this program for saving the program you will go this way file save a after that you will uh, select the location suppose desktop you will select desktop after that you will type the file name file name then dot html after that save as i have already saved the file so it will show that uh, already exist now to see the output you will go to the desktop or the location wherever you saved and you will double click on the file and if you are opening the file in, in internet internet explorer it will ask you to allow block content so you click on the allow block content and it will come like this way one window here you have to type the name suppose name is priya and again you have to ask uh, enter the address beltola then phone number some random numbers so this will be the output of the first question now we'll come to the next question write a javascript program to input your name and age if name is divya and age is 16 the message should be divya is 16 years old this one also i have already done so this is my program and uh, i am showing you one another trick suppose you have already saved the file as html and you have closed the notepad also now you did some mistake or suppose your uh, output is not appearing on the screen so what you will do you will click on the file right click then open with you will get your browser option internet explorer microsoft edge or whatever install in your computer and notepad also you might get and you will click on notepad if if notepad is not appearing there then you will choose default program and from here you can choose or one more option is there you will go to the notepad and here you will have one option file open and from here you will select the text document as all files after that he will select here i want to open program 2 so program 2 so for this program we need two variable name and age and by using prompt statement we will take the input and in document dot write we will write first name without quotation because it is a variable after that plus to join it with the string is age this one is a string that's why i have written inside quotation again age it is a variable years old it is string so it is in inside quotation and to join string and variable together we are using here plus sign which is also known as concatenation operator okay now to view the output of this program we'll just double click on the file it asks me to allow the block content we have to always allow only so name is i am entering divya only and is i am writing suppose 45 so it's coming divya is 45 years old so this way you will do the question number 2 now let's move to question number 3 here we have to input country and age of a user and if the age is 18 above 18 or equal to 18 and nationality is indian it should display a message in message box that eligible for vote if uh, the conditions are not true then it will 
display nothing i think it's given nothing given here but uh, we can display it as not eligible so let's open it with notepad the file as i have already did here i have taken two variable as and nat net for nationality and by using prop statement i have taken the input now we are using if statement in if again we are using two relational operator and one logical operator one logical operator is to compare the relational operators this is relational operator a is greater than equal to 18 means here i am checking whether the age is greater than or equal to 18 or not after that an operator again i am checking whether the nationality is indian or not if both conditions are true then only this alert statement will display and as in question it asks us to display in a message box so here i am writing alert and else if both the conditions or if the condition is false then it will display not eligible for voting and uh, remember as i am uh, using here and operator both the conditions should be true then only it will come as eligible for voting if anyone is false uh, it will come as not eligible so let's run the program program 3 we have to allow only so first asking me to enter the age suppose i am writing 43 and country indian so it is coming eligible for voting now let's again reload the file now i am writing is 32 and nationality i am writing suppose bangladesh so it's coming now not eligible for voting because one condition is false so this way this program works and from the in the lab uh, chapter 6 you will need only first three questions question 1 2 3 4 is not required because omitted is using there oh, switch statement is using there and it is from the omitted part and number 5 it is very lengthy one and normally in exam this much lengthy program will not come now we will move to the looping in javascript here we have another 5 questions this 5 only easy and this 5 only important for your examination you can if you practice this uh, first 3 questions from chapter 6 and from here uh, 5 questions total 8 questions for your examination surely the question will be from here only you no need to practice another questions now question uh, in the lab question number in the lab chapter 8 question number 1 write a javascript code to accept a number from the user and display its factorial by using looping statement if the user enter 5 it should be like 5 into 3 into 4 into means whatever will multiply all that uh, numbers and display the answer and if the user enter negative number will display a uh, message so I have already did it here so let's see here I have taken three variables and this one I will take from the user i this is for looping and fact this is to store the factorial and I am writing the initial value as 1 because if we multiply any number with 1 we will get the same number only now by using a prompt statement I am taking the input now here is the condition to check whether it is positive or not if if n greater than 0 this program will work when the n is greater than 0 if the n is uh, less than 0 then it might uh, it will not work because when the user enter negative number it will display this one please enter a positive number now if n is greater than 0 we will have again for loop here i am i am using for counter i equal 1 starting from 1 it will go till n suppose if the user enter 5 then it will be 5 then it's time i plus plus and inside the for loop i am multiplying the factorial fact equal fact into i i means first time the i value is 1 so 1 into i again 1 1 into 1 1 next time 1 into 2 it will be 2 third time 2 into 3 it will be 6 so it will go on like that way and we will display the answer outside of the loop if we display inside the loop only then the answer will come each time if i enter 5 the answer will come 5 times if i need just one time the answer then we will have to write the document that read, uh, statement outside the loop so i am writing here outside only and we'll close here if bracket means this everything comes when the n become greater than zero if it is uh, not greater then else part this will document dot write please enter a positive number now let's see the output program 5 so it's ask me sorry I hope I have did some mistake here. Open with notepad. So 
so this one number four one asking me to enter a positive number I am writing suppose 5 it's coming 120 now if I enter a negative number minus 8 it's showing that please enter a positive number so this way it work now we'll move to question number 2 of in the chapter 7 write a javascript code to display event number from 1 to 100 by using any looping statement and uh, my favorite loop is 4 so definitely I'm going to use 4 only as it is showing here any loop so I want I have to display the numbers 1 to 100 here if it's not required so I am taking just one variable for counter here for i equal 1 and I am writing less than equal to 100 means till 100 will go and it's time plus 1 and inside the for loop just one time document dot write plus i plus quotation and one space again quotation close this is uh, to display all the number in one line if I don't give this uh, empty space then what happened all the number will come as the same number means there will be no gapping and if I need to display the number in separate line so instead of the blank space we will write br then the number will display in separate lines now let's see the output it's program 5 oh, we have to allow only sorry I have not saved the file save the file Now let's allow block content. So this is the these are the numbers one, two, three, four, like that it will go on till hundred. So this way we can do question number two. Now question number three write a JavaScript code to find the sum of the numbers between one to twenty incremented by say, uh, 3 using while loop and rewrite it by using do while so we have this program I have already written the program so I am showing you here there are some anomalies so here I will need the variable just one counter variable and we also have to add the numbers for that we will take one sum variable sum equal 0 now if we multiply any number if we add any number with 0 we will get the same number that's why it is same sum equal 0 and here asking me to use while statement so we will write here while loop so write while we will write the condition condition will be i greater than equal to we will have to go till 20 so 20 and inside bracket we will write sum equal sum plus i and next line we will increment the value of uh, by of i by 3 i plus equal 3 and we will close the bracket and after while we will display the answer so document dot write Here we'll write sum equal plus sum. Then then we'll save the file. Oh, our program does not work because I have not initialized the value of initialization part was not done because I am writing it in while loop. That's why you have to uh, write the value of i before only. So i equal one, sum equal zero. Now if I go into see the program output of this program so output will be I think it's uh, 70 huh, sum equals 70 now we'll move to question number 4 we have to display the even number odd numbers in back bar and here it's not mentioned in which loop we have to use it and I'm going to use it in my favorite loop so here I'm taking just one variable and inside 4 I'm starting the value of i by 15 and we'll go till greater than 3 and it's time minus minus and here I'm writing one if statement if and dividing the value of if i by 2 and checking whether the reminder is not 0 or not if not then document dot write i and br means we will display the value of i let's see the output the output is this one we to allow 15 13 11 9 7 5 3 this way we will get the output 
now we will go to the question number 5 write a uh, java script to display the multiplication table print tables of a number from 1 to 10 so this is the program here i am taking three variables and to take the number from the user which table he want i for counter and p for product and i am taking the user by uh, taking the input by using prompt statement for i am writing here i equal 1 and i will go till 10 i plus plus and inside for loop p equal and into i means if the user enter 5 so 5 into 1 first time it will be 5 next time 5 into 2 it will be 10 this way and in document dot write i am displaying only the value of p product so p plus pr so when we run the program we will get the output this way allow we have to allow only block content suppose uh, the user enter 5 or uh, 6 so we will get the 6 table again reload the user enter uh, 4 he will get the 4 table so this way this program work now uh, for or else what you will learn for or else from the chapter this one uh, 6 you will learn like this way who develops javascript then what is an operator what is a operator operator is in the symbol using mathematical expression is known as operator and different types of operator arithmetic logical this are you will learn different logical operator and or not what is binary operator the operator which needs two operand uh, name one selection statement uh, selection statement you will write as if statement and uh, different form of if 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 else if else if so these are you can learn what is nested if uh, as if statement inside a if is known as nested if and from the looping statement first what is loop the repetition of same statement for multiple times is known as loop different types of loop for while do while uh, entry control control loop and exit control definition might ask you will say that the loop where the condition of the loop is checked uh, before entering to the loop body is known as entry control and where the condition is checked when it exit from the loop is known as exit control example entry control is for and do and uh, for and while and exit do while so mainly this type of question will ask you learn the short short answers from both the chapters and uh, javascript you will learn from chapter 3 6 first three questions and from chapter 7 all five are only important and both all are similar because we are using loop only only one two line is changing so you can see that uh, and try to understand the program and tomorrow you have the exam best of luck for your examination and if you are have difficulty to learn to understand the program in english and if your mother tongue is asmis definitely will like to learn the program in asmis only so i have already explained this two chapters in the lab programs in asmis in my another channel i'll paste the link on comment section you can go to that channel also to see in asmis thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye